Night Troops, Swift here again to talk about the new splat map shader that's been recently added to 3D Canvas. This is where you texture an object indirectly by using a very simple texture, like this image here that's made of reds, greens and blues, to tell 3D Canvas where to put other textures. In this case, I've got it set up so that this texture here is being used as a splat map for the terrain down here. If we look at this H shape in the lower portion, for instance, I've told 3D Canvas to put a grass texture in the green area and a dirt texture on the red area. And you can see down below here, we've got this H shape formation of grass and dirt. So that's kind of where that corresponds to that. And you might think, fair enough, but that sounds like a bit of a convoluted way to texture things. Why not just apply a single painted texture to the terrain, the old fashioned way? The main reason for that is if you were to texture this terrain normally, or texture a terrain piece even larger than this for instance, then the texture alone could very quickly enter the tens of megabytes in size. That's not really a big deal for modern hardware, but if you've got players that are running on older hardware, or if they've got say integrated graphics, or even just very slow internet speeds, then that could be quite a big contributor to a scene being choppy and laggy, which is certainly not fun. This splat map here, on the other hand, is a little 512 by 512 texture PNG, and the textures it's referencing are 1024 by 1024 JPEGs. So this whole setup, all the textures involved here, are just over a megabyte. And that means that this terrain is very lightweight and will have no trouble running on pretty much any PC. And it also means that I could take a piece of terrain that is several times larger and just use the same size splat map and the same size textures and texture it with, again, just over a megabyte in size. The third thing, and probably the biggest advantage for DMs using these maps, is that maps using splat maps are very customizable. So let's have a look at the actual splat map shader. That's a regular shader, like normal, so we'll open up the terrain options here, go to configure shaders. And we've got splat map here. So as it says here, this is an advanced shader, maps the RGBA channels of the splat map texture to four different textures. And what that means is basically what I said earlier. 3D Canvas looks at the splat map and assigns the red, green, blue and alpha or transparent channels to those textures that you plug in here, in this section over here. Each texture could be tinted individually and have the number of repeats change individually. So you can use a very small texture if you like and just tile it across the whole thing and you can tint things if you want a subtle change. As an example for this map here, let's say you liked the overall map, this kind of ruined gatehouse look, but your players were in a desert, say, so the grass isn't really appropriate. I've got the grass on the green channel here, so we look down at texture G, and we've got, that's the uh, texture that it currently is, and I could either open the file browser and plug my own texture in, or I could use the material browser built into 3D Canvas. So let's open that up and let's say we're going for a desert. So let's look for sand and let's pick sand 08. Let's see how that looks. And that is an interesting effect. We can turn the brightness down on it by tinting it slightly gray. And then we can color correct the other textures by giving them a slight kind of yellowy orangey tint. And that brings their colors more in line with this sand that we've added to the scene from outside. And there's the terrain transformed from your typical lush forested region to a much more arid, sandy, deserty type region in just a few seconds. If I wanted, I could then go on and remove the foliage or replace them with something else, or otherwise just spruce up the scene as normal. And that's a lot quicker than it would have been if this was a traditionally textured map. So as you can see, this new splat map shader is a pretty powerful tool. It allows for markedly more efficient maps that are extremely customizable. I'm intending to use it more often myself, so be sure to check future Bailey Wiki maps to see if the splat map shader is in use, or of course just make your own. Making splat maps can be kind of tricky, or can be kind of simple, depends on how you do it. You can literally just open up something like Photoshop or GIMP and paint it yourself, or you can use things like Substance Painter or Blender, you can get as complex as you like. Uh, customizing them though is always super simple, just in 3D Canvas here with the Splat Map Shader config. As ever, we're always looking for feedback on our work here at BaileyWiki, so what you'd like to see, what you're curious about, if you have any questions about anything, 
So leave a comment down below or post on the Discord server if you'd like to share any thoughts. And I'll see you all next time.